Welcome back, grade one students. Welcome in your science lesson. Now, tell me, students, one thing that what do you people, uh, you all eat something, right? You you eat breakfast in the morning, then you eat lunch in the afternoon, and later on you will have dinner at night, right? So why do you need food? You eat these different type of food items. So why do you think you need food? You need food to live. You need food to stay healthy, right? You need food to stay, uh, to have a healthy life, to live in this world. This is why you need food, right? So from where do you get this food? Correct, you get the food from the market. And who has created this food? Correct, Allah has created. Allah has created food for you, right? You get, and he has created food and he has supplied food to different areas. Like you said, we get food from the market. But to the market, from where we get the food? Correct. We get food from animals. We get food from plants, right? Plants give us food. Animals give us food, right? So that means that this food is given to you by animals or plants, right? So, now, for today's, what we are going to learn is about food chain. What is a food chain? Now, what is food chain is that, that how living things gets its food. Food chain means how living things, they get its food. You know, we all are living. We all are living things. Humans are living things. Animals are living things. Plants are living things. So food chain is going to explain how we get, how living things gets its food, right? Now you all had dinner last night. Yes or no? What you had in dinner? Can anybody tell me? You had chicken, right? You had chicken in the, for dinner, right? So what do you think a chicken gives us? You know chicken is an animal, right? You, you eat that animal and it also gives you something that also you eat. That is the eggs, correct? Chicken gives us egg. Chicken gives us meat also, right? We eat meat of, <coughs> excuse me, we eat meat of chicken. Now, what about sheep? You eat meat of sheep also? Yes, and sheep also gives us something that is useful to us. Remember, we have done. What is that? It gives you wool. From wool, you make different things right right you know it gives us different things uh, it gives us wool and from that wool you make different things what about cow remember we have done this in the previous class cow gives you milk and from that milk you make different things you make cheese you make yogurt you make so many things that you eat right so this is all a proper food Jane, now let me share a video. Now you will see this video again. It's with this video is our Edward video. We have made it. Do watch it later on. Okay. Now let's see what I have in this video for you. There you go. Can you all see my screen, children? All right. I'm a horse. Look at me. I treat the farmers on the right. What is your purpose? I'm a sheep. They take my wool. And they also have my meat. What is your purpose? I'm a chicken. I give eggs and chicks. I'm a cow. And I give milk. From which yogurt and cheese is made. Correct. So that means you have seen this video, how these animals are useful, what do they give you, right? So this is a food chain actually. Now what happens children that, uh, what is the food of chicken? Chicken needs food also, of course, it's a living thing. It needs, it eat plant and that plant is called a corn. Chicken likes to eat corns 
or it likes to eat grains, grass, everything it can eat. And yet, this uh, corn is eaten by chicken. And who eats chicken? Humans, right. And chicken is eaten by? Chicken is eaten by humans. See the food chain? First, this is a plant. Plant is eaten by chicken. Then a corn plant is eaten by chicken. And chicken is eaten by humans. It's a chain. It's a food chain. Right? Now, always remember that food chain starts from a plant. And it ends uh, in a, it ends on animals. It always starts from plants, like animal eat that. The plant is eaten by certain animals, and that certain animal is eaten by another animal. So it ends, it starts with a plant, and it ends on animals, right? Now, I'll share a PowerPoint presentation. And in that presentation, you can see the food chain of different animals, right? But today, we are only going to do one animal and tomorrow again this food chain topic is going to continue all right now let's move on let's see what do we have here can you all see this now look at the picture uh, following pictures carefully now this is a food chain and a food web right Food web and food chain is almost a different thing, a uh, same thing. In food chain, it's uh, shown in the form of a chain, whereas in a food web, they have explained in the form of a web. Now, this is a, a plant is eaten by deer, deer is eaten by lion, and again, lion eats the snakes and other animals, right? And the same food chain is shown over here. Now, let's see this food chain. These pictures are telling you about a food chain. Or now this food chain is of eagle. Eagle is a big bird, you know, right? So what happens, children? A plant grows. <clears throat> and what does a plant need to grow? It needs air, water, sunlight, right? What does a plant need to grow? It needs to grow air. It needs air, water, sunlight, nutrients, right? So a plant is grown over here. It's a producer. And then this plant is eaten by a grasshopper, again a consumer who consumes it. And this grasshopper is eaten by a frog, another consumer. And this frog is eaten by a snake, another consumer. And later on, this snake is eaten by an eagle. See how the ear food chain is taking place? Plant. Plant is eaten by a grasshopper, grasshopper is eaten by a frog, frog is eaten by a snake, a snake is later on eaten by an eagle. So this is how the chain goes. Now, let me show you another picture. Now this is a picture, a food chain of an, uh, another bird that is an owl. Now see, this is a plant is eaten by any insect. It could be a cockroach, it could be a, a snail. And this insect is eaten by a mouse, another consumer. And mouse is eaten by a owl, another consumer. Plant, insect, mouse, owl. See, it starts with a plant and the food chain ends with an animal. Remember that I told you that food chain starts with a plant and it ends with an animal. How it starts, right? So here also, you can see in this picture, it started with a plant and it ended with an animal. Okay, so this is how a food chain takes place. It starts from a plant and it ends with an animal. Now, in the same way, you see giraffe, right? Giraffe is an animal. Now, herbs and sherbs, these are different types of plants. Now, herbs and sherbs are eaten by giraffe. Giraffe is later on eaten by a lion, another animal, another food chain, right? So you understood what is a food chain? Food chain is a process which tells you how living things gets its food. We are living things, right? How we get our food, 
we eat chicken, we eat sheep, we eat goat, we eat cow. How we get it? Now first, this chicken eats um, corn or plants. The plant, uh, the plants or grass are eaten by chicken. The chicken is eaten. Uh, 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 the chicken later on is eaten by humans, right? This is our food chain. Then I have shown you the food chain of different plants, like owl, like the eagle. How eagle food chain goes? A plant is eaten by a grasshopper. Grasshopper is eaten by a frog. Frog is eaten by a snake. Snake is eaten by a by an eagle, right? So this is a food chain. Then I showed you a food chain of a of an owl, right? So how plant is eaten by any insect? Then that insect is eaten by a mouse. That mouse is eaten by a by an owl. Do you understand? This is a food chain. Now, what I want you to observe is in your notebooks, draw any one of the food chain. You have to draw. You have to draw and write names. Like suppose you are drawing plant, then write plant. Plant is eaten by a grasshopper. Draw grasshopper, draw any insect. Then that insect is eaten by a mouse. That mouse is eaten by a snake. That snake is eaten by an eagle. Okay? Draw that food chain, write the names. No need to write consumer and producers and all that. Just write down the names of animals. Correct? Now since it is drawing and writing, it's going to take some time. So I'm going to give you 12 minutes. And your time starts now. All right, time is up. Show me your drawings. Wow, such a nice drawing. You have drawn a portrait of an eagle. Wow. And you have drawn food chain of an owl. Wow. And Neha has drawn human food chain. Very good class. I am so happy for you all. Very good. So that means this was the food chain. We are going to continue this topic again tomorrow since it's a lengthy topic. And then I show you another food chain. Right? So I hope you must have learned something. What is a food chain? Why is it important? What does it mean? from where it starts, from where it ends. Remember these questions. I'm going to ask you these questions tomorrow again. Okay, now do remember to do your homework. I'll be posting that on portal and it's very easy. You just have to draw a food chain. You can easily do it. Okay, all right, children. see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, have a nice day.